What up, Christian Pond and Just Mike? We're back in here, back on another one, man. Talking this whole Manti Teo exposed uh, catfish thing and, uh, you know, the hoax that's being heard around the world, basically, or around the country. And uh, we all know the story. I mean, it's been aired everywhere from, you know, the internet to news radio to radio stations, ABC, NBC, you name it. But we all know what happened, man. This guy basically comes up with the story of his girlfriend dying of a terminal disease that galvanizes the country, galvanizes his team, uh, galvanizes the press, and, and, and basically puts them in the spotlight and pushes them to a BCS national championship and also pushes him towards a, you know, a Heisman spotlight and uh, coming to find out that it's all fake, that it's all made up. Now, you know, to me, I think a lot of people just want him to admit his wrongdoing, you know, or, you know, what's the real thing? What's the bottom line to all of this? And I just feel like, you know, he's already admitted to it in some shape, form, or fashion. You have this guy stating that he met this girl at Stanford when it never really happened. You have this guy stating that he sent flowers to this girl's funeral. And, I mean, you know, where are you going to send flowers to? You know, the, the funeral never happened. So, you know he has some culpability in this whole story. Uh, it's just kind of hard for me to believe that somebody in 2012, 2013 just never ever met this girl. I mean with the advent of Uvu, Skype, FaceTime, different social networks, you had to know that this girl was not real. So I definitely think that, you know, the guy had some portability in this whole matter. I think he did get tricked, honestly, uh, but I don't think it was by the girl. I think it was by the people who kind of made the story up and thought that this would be a great promotional tool for him and for him to actually believe that. I think that he got tricked and duped in that manner, but I do think he knew something about it. I definitely don't think he's totally innocent on the subject. I just feel like, honestly, he will never really admit to it, not right now, because if he admits any wrongdoing, that's his NFL stock dropping right there. I mean, he goes from a potential first rounder to a second to third rounder, you know, and you know, that's a dramatic drop in money. So I don't think he will really admit to any wrongdoing. Maybe later on after everything has died down, he might admit to some responsibility to it. But as of right now, I definitely don't think he'll say anything. And I know the press they just want him to admit something because basically he put them in a position to where they covered him and, and, and put a spotlight on him. And so now they're requiring payment back for that. They want him to admit some wrongdoing. So the press definitely wants him to admit it and, and tear himself down. But I don't think he'll do that. I think that this guy honestly is a great football player. He's a real good dude at heart, man, honestly. And I don't think that, you know, this whole story will be the end of his career. I think that this guy has a lot of good things ahead of him and I think he's really talented and really smart. I think that he's a really young guy and made a very childish decision to do something like this. You know, do you think he should come out and admit to some wrongdoing or do you think he was actually duped? Let me know, hit me in the comment box, let me know what you think, but that's it for this one. I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Make sure you add me on Twitter at JustMike77. Make sure you sub to the channel to be up to date on all my news reviews and sports reviews, but that's it for this one. I will definitely see you guys on the next one. Until then, it's your partner Just Mike. I'm out.